If a person is under attack, then the person may be legally justified in using force in self-defense. But what if the person's belief that he or she is under attack, although genuine, is mistaken? In State v. Simon, we explore whether the reasonableness of a use of force in self-defense is assessed using a subjective or objective standard. Anthony Simon, an elderly man, believed that his neighbor Stefan Wong was a martial arts expert based solely on Wong's ethnicity. Simon was consequently afraid of Wong. One day, as Wong was entering his home, Simon started shooting at him. Simon then also shot at police officers and his other neighbors, Ricky and Brenda Douglas, when they arrived on the scene. Simon was charged with two counts of aggravated assault for shooting at Wong and Ricky. At trial, Simon argued self-defense. He testified that he was afraid of Wong and that just prior to the shooting, Wong was approaching Simon and cursing. A psychologist also testified, stating that Simon suffered from a psychological condition that rendered him fearful and prone to misjudging reality. Simon's attorney argued that Simon believed he was faced with an imminent attack by Wong. The trial judge instructed the jury that a person was justified in using force to defend himself to the extent it appeared reasonable to the person under the circumstances, effectively adopting a subjective standard focusing only on what Simon believed. But the prosecution reserved the question of whether Kansas law required application of an objective standard. After the jury acquitted Simon on both counts, the prosecution appealed to the Kansas Supreme Court for review of its reserved question. 